Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a coffee logo in Adobe Illustrator. So if you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and share it with a friend. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. Okay, jumping right into it, I'm going to go to my ellipse tool and I'm going to make an oval shape just like this. I'm going to set the fill to a dark brown because that's going to be the color for our entire logo here. I'm going to move it down here, maybe increase the size a bit so we can see it better. I'm going to hold alt on it and copy it. On this one I just copied, I'm going to set the fill to white. I'm going to decrease the size a bit. I'm going to move it over our brown one here. I'm going to move it in a way to where it creates this crescent shape here and this pointed line starts going back a bit. Just like that. Now before I do anything with that, I'm going to copy this brown oval one more time. I'm going to keep it up there for now. I'm going to highlight these two, go to our shape builder, and hold alt over the white area and just delete that so you're only left with our crescent shape here, like that. With the one we copied, I'm going to move it up here, line it up with the crescent shape we made. I'm going to move it down, I'm going to decrease the size of it by holding shift to uniformly shrink it. And make the width of it about the same as this gap here in between the two points of our shape. I'm going to copy this one now. I'm going to set the fill to white again. I'm going to move it over our oval up here. I'm going to hold Alt and Shift and drag it down just a bit so it's a bit smaller. And I'm going to move it over to offset it from the center. And I'm going to make it look like there's like a brush stroke going around this part of the circle here. So it has some uh, diversity to it because I want uh, the logo to have some diversity to make it look like it was painted with a brush. That done, I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to go to my Sheet Builder and hold Alt and remove the white circle on the inside. Now we're only left with this hollow oval. To follow up, I'm going to go with my pen tool here. This part gets a little tricky, so just bear with me here because I'm not the best at using the pen tool. It takes a lot of practice. I'm going to hold shift on this middle point here, kind of try to make a uh, a U-shape going underneath our cup here because this is going to be the rim of the cup and I'm making the base of the cup here. Uh, with this, I'm going to try to make a point by coming back and lining it up with the rim here and I want the... the uh, inside of our point here to match up with the white circle here. So I'm going to try to move to about right there. Yeah, about like that. I'm going to select it and adjust things to my needs here. I'm going to go to my direct selection, click on the points, move it any way I need to. I'm going to move this point down a little bit. Yeah, about like that. Okay, next I'm going to make the handle to the cup. I'm going to go to my pen tool again. I'm going to click about right here. I'm going to try as hard as I can to make a good solid curve going around. I want it to come down like that. Kind of like a round, round cane shape. I'm going to Get rid of the fill on it. I'm going to set the stroke to that brown color instead. And I'm going to increase the stroke size to about well, 27, I'd say. And I'm going to go up to my stroke options, go down to profile. I'm where it says uniform. I'm going to change that to this first one here that has these pointed shapes on the end. And this looks a little bit jagged, so I'm going to adjust the handles a bit so that it looks a bit more round. Pen tool can be really tricky, but like that's fine. This will be the handle to our cup. You can uh, change the stroke size to however you need. I'm going to decrease it a bit like that. Okay, I'm going to move this now. I'm going to move it down a bit. I'm going to turn it. And I want it to match up to where like the points of our handle here are about the same distance away on both ends. It's about right there is fine. Decrease the stroke just a little bit more. 
Okay, next, I'm going to make a little bit of a swivel on the inside here to make a bit of a spiral on the inside of the cup. So I'm going to start a line here with my pen tool. I'm going to curve it onto the inside here, about right there. I'm going to point it back out like I did with the bottom of the cup. Have it come back in about like that. Now I want the shape to end here, so I'm going to connect the two on the inside here. I'm going to set the fill to that brown and get rid of the stroke. And I'm going to adjust it however I need to. I'm actually going to move it in a little bit like that. Take my direct selection and move the point up a bit so it has like a even look to it on the inside. Okay, about like that looks good. Now I'm going to make a swivel shape going up to make it look like there's a, an aroma coming off of our coffee. So I'm going to go to my pencil tool here, which is under our shaper tool. And with this, you can pretty much draw with it and it'll create a good, it'll create a good uh, smooth vector for you. So I'm going to use that to draw. You don't have to be an artist for this. Just be a little bit careful with it because you can still mess it up. So I'm going to try a few times here to get it right. I'm going to make a bit of a question mark shape like that. There we go. Now I'm going to increase the stroke size to about 30. I'm going to do that same thing where I change the uniform to this pointed one under our stroke settings. I'm going to change the stroke color to the dark brown. I'm going to increase the size of it a bit. Okay, now I'm going to copy it like that. I'm going to shrink it down. Now, when I shrink it down here, you'll notice that the stroke size stays the same. In order to get that effect, uh, go to your scale tool, double click it, and make sure under your options that scale strokes and effects is not checked. Make sure it's not checked. Uh, doing that will make it so that ma no matter how small I make this vector line, the stroke size will stay the same. I'm going to take that, move it to about the center here, change the stroke size to a light brown. I'm going to take the end point here and delete it. I'm actually going to shrink it a little bit more. I might decrease the stroke size a little bit like that. About right there, that looks good. Now, last thing we're going to do is we're going to take our pen tool, go on the inside of the cup here. I'm going to add a little bit of detail. I'm going to make another curve going on the inside. And I want this to curve as much as possible along with the cup to about right here. Sometimes you have to redo your points. I'm going to adjust it some more. But like that, I want the curve to be looking really good here. Okay, now with your pen tool, kind of like fill in the line here by just going through the brown area and just closing that up like that. Uh, get rid of the stroke and set the fill to that same light color. Okay, with that filled in, we're going to go to our object menu here, go to Arrange, Send it back. This will make it so it looks like there's a nice bit of a highlight here on the inside of our cup. I'm going to adjust this some more. About right there is fine. Now I'm going to do it one more time on the bottom of the cup here. I'm going to start from about right here. Go down to about here. 
and let the point end here and do the same thing fill it in going through the brown area and just uh, finish that there now go up to object send it back And with that, your logo's pretty much done. I'm going to move the cup down closer to our little plate that we made at the start. I like that. And that's good. I'm gonna group it. And I'm gonna go up to Object, Path, and Outline Stroke for any strokes that we still have there. So when we scale it this time, the effect that we had under our scale tool that I showed you earlier will not affect it at all. I'm going to line it up and I'm going to call that finished. Leave a like, subscribe, and share this with a friend if you learned anything. Thank you.